everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video we are going to learn how to show that our ols estimators are linear as well as unbiased so when we talk about ols estimator the one word which we always use is that they are blue what does a blue mean it means they are best they are linear they are unbiased estimators so when unbiasedness we have heard a lot that expected value if you can show their expected value equal to the true value they are going to be unbiased but what about linearity how can you show they are linear so in this video you are going to learn how to prove an ols estimator as linear as well as unbiased so let us see in the video where i have told you how to get the value of ols estimators if you want to see that video there is a link in the description box so if you go to that video you will understand how we have derived this value of beta 2 hat so i am taking the value from that video so beta 2 hat is equal to this thing now since we have n here if i try to divide it with n here i am going to get summation xi minus x bar yi minus y bar because if you multiply it you will get summation xi yi then xi y bar because the divide with n here it's they are going to get converted into the mean values on the same likewise i can write this thing as summation xi minus x bar whole square so i have told you that i have told in the video that how you can convert these things since whenever we write the variable as a deviation from its mean we write it in the deviation form so whenever i'm writing a minus a bar i can represent it with the small variable so these small x and y represent the deviation from their mean values so xi minus x bar gives me small xi yi minus y bar gives me small yi and uh, likewise xi minus x bar is small xi so small xi square so this is another value of beta 2 hat which will be useful at many places now to show that beta 2 hat is linear because from here i couldn't show it easily i cannot show how this is going to be linear from here as well i cannot show this as linear so i will further be doing some other algebraic manipulations to get till my point so now i know why i is what it is the capital y i minus y bar that is the deviation from the mean so i have substituted the value of small y i now i will be multiplying the term so i get small summation x i y i minus y bar is going to be a number so it comes out y bar summation x i the denominator is going to remain same now tell me one thing small x i is what x i minus x bar the deviation of xi variable from its mean when we take the deviation of variable from its actual mean the summation of them is always equal to 0 it's a property of the mean that when you take deviations from actual mean the summation of all the deviations would be equal to 0 so it means this whole thing here is equal to 0 so y bar into 0 is also 0 so i'm just left with summation xi capital yi and this thing so with the help of this i can proceed to show that beta 2 hat is linear in some variable so continuing this value i come to here now i have written that since beta 2 hat is equal to this thing which i have derived on the last page i can assume xi upon summation xi square as ki because what are these these are non stochastic xi is are non stochastic so i can treat them as some kind of weights which are given to yi so i have taken xi upon summation xi square equals to ki so what are they going to become if i replace it i will get summation ki yi now it is clearly observable here that beta 2 hat is a linear function of yi i can express beta 2 hat in a linear form so that is how we will show the linearity of ols estimator now to show the unbiasedness i will be continuing with the same form so this form is really useful you can also use this formula of beta 2 hat in a lot of questions 
to solve them in an actually very simple way. So summation ki is going to be exactly the same. I'm just substituting the value of yi, which is beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus mu i. Now again, I'm going to multiply and open the brackets. So I will get beta 1 is a number constant, so it will come out beta 1 summation ki. Similarly, beta 2 a constant comes out summation ki xi. This is i over here. Likewise, summation ki mu i. Now tell me one thing, if I talk about summation ki xi, what is summation ki? It's small xi upon summation xi square into xi over here. Now this xi I can also write in deviation form or even if not, like when you will write the values, they will cancel out to 1 only, right? They will cancel down to 1 only. So summation ki xi is equal to 1. All right. Now summation ki is left. Summation ki is 0. Why summation ki is 0? Again the property of mean. Summation ki is summation xi upon summation xi squared. Now this is the value of summation ki. I told you that the deviations of the variable from its mean are 0. So I have 0 here. I have 0 square here. So that will sum up to 0 only. So this is equal to 0. So beta 1 will go away from the picture. Beta 2 into this thing is going to be equal to 1. So I, it becomes beta 2 here. Now summation ki mu i as it is. So it means beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2 plus summation ki mu i. Now for showing unbiasedness, we always prove that the expected value of the estimator is equal to the true value. So expected value of beta 2 hat, beta 2 expectation, it's a constant. So its expectation will also be exactly equal to itself plus expectation of this thing. So beta 2 as it is now, the expectation of summation ki mu i is going to be 0 because mu i is a random error term. The expected value of random error term is always equal to 0 and ki is just a weight given to it. So because of the same reason, this expectation will also be equal to 0. So I have proved here that expected value of beta 2 hat is equal to beta 2. It means that beta 2 hat is unbiased also. I hope you will find this video useful. Please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching.